All right, so haven't done a video in quite some time, but let's look at what we have going on here with these FPV quads. Here's a Sin Whoop, and here's the QAV R2. So now I installed the TBS Unify Pro 32 VTX, which gets around two watts. Pretty crazy. Make sure you have your ham radio license for that one. Then, as you see, I got it wired to Crossfire. And I got this one on Crossfire too. I didn't switch the VTX on it yet, but I am gonna change it. So we got that one on Crossfire. And what I just did is I just updated to the newest firmware. And as you can see, I now have control of the Unify Pro 32 on here, which is really nice. So right now I have it on race channel 2, 25 milliwatts. And you can change most of the settings on here, which is pretty nice. And in here, you can go all the way up to 1000 milliwatts which actually is more like 1900, 1800. And then you also have a temp limit, which is really nice. So you could change that. So when this gets too hot, you can, it will start to dial down. So if you're just sitting there, pretty nice though. Works really good. All updated with Team Black Sheep's software. So yeah, works really good. I'm gonna have to test it out now. Before I had it wired through Smart Audio, um, which wasn't, I don't know why, it wasn't working properly through Betaflight, so I was kinda, I had to set it through the computer and then fly. So now I have it, I'm able to control it right through the radio, which is really nice. I can control everything through the radio. Got the VTX, the receiver, and the video transmitter. Pretty nice. Works out pretty good. I'll be switching this one out for a Smart Audio um, 800 milliwatt soon. And then I also have the Geyser, which is over here, as you can see. And I will be changing that one out for the Unify. So that'll be coming soon too. These are turning out pretty good. Got it all lit up, got LEDs, so I can see around it. Everybody knows where it is, pretty sweet. I didn't want it in the front because I don't want it to shine bright into the camera lens or anything like that, just in case. I've gotten, uh, flashing lights in the camera before and you could sort of notice it so they're pretty bright these are the lumineer lights pretty nice but yeah besides that everything's running works pretty good gotta test it now thanks tbs your stuff is always the best the best thank you for watching